Welcome back to the OVC Insider. I'm Grant with Vicky. Vicky's finally back. Nice I to know see you her. missed yeah. us. And we are back here with a little, somewhat of a wrap-up show for some of the spring championships that have already concluded. But before we say that, don't worry, guys. We are safe. We're high and dry. Floods didn't get us. We heard Austin P. Your uh, baseball field's a little, a little messy, but uh, for the most part, everything's good oh, this here. Is good. Mm-hmm. Our recovery efforts are on the way. So. Uh, if you were concerned about us, we appreciate it, and uh, and we get, we'll get jumped in right to uh, soft, not softball, track and field. No, that's right. Um, the track and field championships were held last weekend at Tucker Stadium in Cookville. Tennessee Tech hosted the event, and Eastern Illinois, the both the men's and women's teams repeated as champions. The a tornado warning in the area did um, force the men's javelin and women's triple jump to be canceled, but EIU had already accumulated enough points on both sides to win the event. And they also won the indoor, both men and women won the indoor championship earlier in the year. So, you know, EIU definitely cleaning up the track and field awards. The title was the 11th for the Eastern Illinois men and the third for the women. Host Tennessee Tech saw its highest finish ever as the, they finished fifth with a school best 67 points. And it was the first time in 32 years that Tennessee Tech had hosted the event and the first ever for the women's division. Guess we'll shoot over to the golf championship, which was the weekend prior. It was. It was in Dixon, Tennessee, and we had an insider episode out there at the women's, and the men's followed it immediately after. And Murray State ended up winning both the men's and the women's team championship, which is actually only the second time in history in the OVC that's ever happened. The first time was 2007, and that was done by Jacksonville State. This was the fourth title for the Murray State men, and it's their first since 1999, so a little bit of a, excuse me, 1991, even more of a hiatus, so nice to see that they're getting back up on track there. They're having a pretty good year athletically, I would say. Mm-hmm. Murray State senior Nick Newcomb won his second individual medalist title. He also won in 2008, and the MSU women won their eighth overall OVC title, and it's their second in a row. The only all, the only non-Murray State member to win something, uh, as far as the tournament or the team, was Austin Peace Chelsea Harris. She was the individual medalist on the women's side. And that is the second ever individual medalist for Austin P. The men are going to find out their location for the NCAA Regionals next Monday, that's the 10th. And the racer women have already found out their location, which will be in Columbus, Indiana, and play starts today. And now back to Vicki for the tennis championship. Yeah, and we'll start with the women. Um, Austin P won their fourth OVC tennis tournament. And they're going to face Georgia Tech on Friday, May 14th at 12 p.m. Central in the first round of the NCAA tournament. And that match is taking place in Athens, Georgia. And Eastern Kentucky won their first ever OVC men's tennis tournament. And they're going to face the Louisville Cardinals in Louisville on Saturday, May 15th at 1 p.m. Central. And the spring championships will conclude with softball and baseball. Softball is going to be May 13th through 15th on the campus of Tennessee Martin, where baseball will be in Jackson, Tennessee, May 26th through 30th. Well, the NFL draft recently took place, and the OBC was well represented. Two players were drafted, a few others signed free agent deals, and even a few others were invited to training camp. So um, the two that were drafted were Eastern Illinois offensive tackle Otis Hudson and Murray State defensive lineman Austin Lane. It was interesting because they were actually picked back to back in the fifth round. And that's not the first time that's happened. It's happened before, and twice, um, twice before. Hudson was the 21st pick of the fifth round by the Bengals, and then Lane was the 22nd picked by the Jaguars. And the other time that it happened, most recently in 2007, Eastern Kentucky's Larry Turner and Simo's Eugene Amato were picked 238 and 239 overall. That's in the seventh round. Hudson and Lane were two of only 19 FCS players drafted on the NFL Draft Weekend. Maybe they'll one day play for Sean Payton and another OVC. OVC yeah, absolutely. represented. Absolutely. And then one quick announcement about the Hall of Fame. Vicki, would you like to do the honors? I will. The OVC will be announcing its newest class into the OVC Hall of Fame on Friday. And membership is limited to coaches, administrators, faculty, and staff who have been associated with the OVC for at least five years and have had extensive outstanding service to the conference. Last year, with the induction of two new members, the um, membership now stands at 65. So we will be looking forward to that come Friday. That's right. And, lastly, boom goes the dynamite. That's all we got for you today, guys. We'll see you. See you next week.